Cooking and Heat Transfer Heat is a kind of energy that everything has. Heat will be transferred from something that has a lot of heat energy to something that has less heat energy. If you put an egg into hot water, the egg will get hotter and the water will get a little cooler because some of the water's heat energy is being transferred into the egg. There are many ways of imparting heat into the foods we cook, which are affected by two factors, the kind of heat and the moisture used in the cooking process. There are three kinds of heat, conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction is the transferal of heat through direct contact. When you place a steak on a hot pan, heat will transfer from the pan directly into the steak. Conduction is a rapid method of transferring high heat into foods, but can overcook the outside of the food before the inside has reached the right temperature. Convection is the indirect transfer of heat into a food through a medium. A medium is something that transfers the energy from the heat source into itself and then passes it onto the food. This is usually air, water or oil. An oven heats the air inside it. The air then transfers the heat into the food. The main difference between conduction and convection is that conduction transfers heat through solid objects while convection transfers heat through a liquid or gas. Lastly, there is radiation which is very different to conduction and convection because it doesn't need to make any contact with the food in order to transfer heat. When something gets very hot, it radiates heat as waves. You can feel the heat of a flame without actually touching it. This is because it is giving off radiant heat. The waves of radiant heat will continue traveling outward until it comes in contact with an object, at which point the wave is absorbed as heat. The ability to penetrate food varies between each of these types of heat, so you must consider this when choosing a cooking method. Now let's look at the effect that moisture has on the cooking process. Liquids are able to transfer heat much more effectively than air because they make better contact with the food and therefore have more opportunity to transfer their heat. Liquids can penetrate into the food and add flavor and moisture. Liquids will impair your ability to brown food. Water has a maximum temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Hotter than that, and it will turn to steam. So when we cook, we need to decide if it will be more suitable to use dry heat, wet heat, or some other kind of heat, such as microwaves, as this will have a major impact on the finished dish.